what is your goal here? Is your goal to make money or is your goal to be right? Hey, it's Walter here and you're at the Think Profit Podcast where we're going to help you develop a rock solid trading confidence and avoid the potentially endless cycle of system switching. Right, Hugh? That's right. We're going to help you develop a wealth mindset, develop a trading strategy that fits your core personality and help you overcome the obstacles that stop over 90% of traders. All right, Hugh. Sounds good. You ready to go? Yeah, let's do this. Hey, Hugh. So I got a question from a trader the other day and his question was basically, how do I trade my system if the win rate isn't high enough. And so he was he was telling me that he had a system that it worked, but he didn't think that he could trade it because the win rate was like, you know, 37% or whatever it was. And so what so my question for you is what would you tell him? <laughs> Someone comes to you and says, look, <laughs> I have this system. It works. I know it works, but the win rate's too low. I need to get it higher. Like I can't trade it the way it is right now. What would you say? Yeah, that's tricky, right? I mean uh, two things. I think there are two options there. One, you take that low win rate system and you just add something else on top of that. That could that might be a higher win rate system um, if you don't want to throw that system away. Um, or you just throw that system out and say that win rate is too low for me and you go look for a higher win rate one. But that's dangerous because you're always going to be searching for the next system that has a higher win rate and a higher win rate. And in reality, you know what, what are you trying to do here, right? You're trying to create an advantage. You're trying to find a system that has an advantage over the market. And if you're stuck on the win rate specifically, then I don't know, that's something that you have to really look at and see if that's what's re really hanging you up or if there's something else that you don't like about the system or um, you have this thing where you need to win a lot. That, that would be what I'd say. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I agree. So, so you got to think about what is your goal here? Is your goal to make money or is your goal to be right? Yeah. Right, exactly what you said. Uh, you can change it. You can change the strategy. Usually changing the exit will completely change the win rate. So if you make it easier for your trades to hit that, that to hit the winning status, right? Uh, you could also add a break even rule so that a lot of those losers are, are filtered out. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, that, that may, that may get you out of some, it's going to get you out of some winners too. But beyond that, I would kind of tend to say what you're saying. It's more of a psychological thing of thinking about, I need to be right rather than I need to make money. Like there's a trader in our a Naked Forks now in the forum, he just posted a system that I know a lot of people don't trade because it's got a 32% win rate, mm -hmm. but the profitability is off the charts. Like it's mm -hmm. literally off the charts. And so it's like, you know, it's like, it's the, it's the old thing. Like you hand somebody something that works. You give them this tool and you say, oh, you've been looking for this tool to fix your motorcycle or whatever. Here's the air. Take this tool and you can fix your motorcycle. Like, ah, I don't like to use monkey wrenches. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> that doesn't you know look what like, I mean? like it'll work, right? Yeah, that doesn't look like that'll work. But it will work. We know it'll work. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't want to hurt. I don't want to skin my knuckles, you know, trying to <laughs> tighten that up. So it's like, you know, you got to think about what, what, is, what is your real goal here, mm -hmm. right? Um, the other thing I would say, kind of a way to trick yourself would be you trade that low win rate strategy with a super low risk per trade. And you do that for, let's say you commit to that for six months. Okay. You say, I'm going to trade this system, but I'm only going to trade it at you know $5 a trade or whatever. Okay. And at the end of that six months, you look at how much money you made in this little tiny account, right? Mm -hmm. And then you say, okay, now what if I was trading $500 per trade instead of five? Would I be happy with where my account would be? You know what I mean? So I started with a, you know, a $500 account and I traded $5 per trade. And this is where I am after this. Now, what would I say if I started with a fifty thousand dollar account or a five thousand dollar account? And uh, you know what I mean? What, mm -hmm. Where would that be? Where would I be with that? And would I be okay with that? Do you think I could do? And look at the drawdown and all that. Now, obviously, past does not dictate future performance. You might have a seventeen percent drawdown over that six months. In the future, you have a thirty-four percent drawdown. You never know. But the question is, you've gone through it, you've executed it, you've been able to pull out of the you know the drawdowns that are inevitable with the strategies with the low win rate like that. So what do you think about, you know, do you wish that you would have traded it for $500 a trade instead of $5 a trade? Okay. Maybe it's time to kind of wrap this up and move to the next level. Maybe only $50 a trade, right? Mm -hmm. So you can kind of like ease yourself into that by taking trades that don't hurt so much. So that, I mean, that's just a good thing in general, right? For mm -hmm. any system, but especially for one where you're just like, oh, I don't know if I can do this with such a low win rate. So, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I think that goes for a lot of things in life, right? Like we need to see it in action and see it working first before we can like subscribe to it. I think, um, yeah, I've, I've obviously had that a lot. Um, so I think, yeah, if you 
do like you said, then you'll see the success and then you can just scale it up if you want to. Yeah. And it's so much easier to, to follow your rules when you have such small trades. Yeah. Like it, it, it almost like, like it, it takes the focus off the money, doesn't it? Like it almost like, and it's not demo, it's not Forex tester, it's real money. But you know, when you're, when you're losing $5 a trade, it's so easy to like wait for it to hit the two R target and make $10. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's different. You know, if you're trading 500, 5,000, you know, mm -hmm. it's a lot different because you start thinking, well, I've got $575 that I can bag right now. Do I really need to wait for the thousand that 575 could really come in handy this weekend? Mm -hmm. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. that's sort of like you start doing these mental games when you're trading really high and it's all relative, but when you're trading for, for higher stakes. Whereas when you're training for lower stakes, it almost makes no sense to do anything but follow the rules. So you <laughs> yeah. get into good, you get into good habits. Yeah, it's yeah, because really cool. you're already spending that money in your mind, right? With the bigger numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right, thanks, Walter. Thanks. All information in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only, and is not trading or investment advice.